I stink, therefore I am. Maxima beautification process. Too little, too late. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. It took a good half hour to get my hair half dry. It's still, it's still kind of, not wet, but it's really, really damp. I may take the hair dryer to it again later. I'm gonna see how much it can air dry. I have thick hair and it takes forever. Upon watching the news this evening, they were talking about cell phone usage and young folks, like high schools, kids, and younger. And they did a study on how many hours a day the kids were told to keep track for a week. On, on average, per day, how many hours were they on their device? It ranged from 4 to 12 hours. That's a long time. That's a long time, especially because some of those hours they're in school. Hmm. Now how teachers deal with cell phone usage or devices, or, I have no idea. I'm sure there are policies at school. But that kind of problem never existed when I was their age. In grade school, when you got bored, you either looked out the window, tore notebook paper up and threw it at other people, doodled on the notebook paper, or like Terry pet it in the corner, you turn your eyelids inside out for attention. Terry, that was gross, just to let you know. Of course, I think you knew that, and that's why you did it. Then in high school, I mean, you know, I like going to school because my mom was like a dictator and never allowed me to have friends, so school was a possibility of actually getting a friend didn't really happen because I was the tallest and skinniest kid and I was different. You know, they can always tell the difference as kids are brutal and mean. Uh, the way I was raised or not allowed to do this and not allowed to do that, you know, kids know the difference. They know how to pick on you. But we never had cell phones. We never had any kind of devices, no memo pad, no nothing. No iPads, nothing. I think cell phones came around in the 80s because I was working and I had one that was bright yellow. I got bright yellow so I could find it in my purse, but thinking about it, it was the size of this wallet. <laughs> and it had a curly Q cord that you'd hook up to it to the to the car. You couldn't carry it around with you. You couldn't text on it. You couldn't get any messages on it. It was just a phone. Yeah, they've come a long way. A long way. There's so many people that are plugged into their devices everywhere. At work, home, at school, everywhere. Well, these kids, a handful of high school kids, were told to give up their phone for a week. So they locked them up. And then at the end of the week, they got them back and they were asked some questions by the interviewer. Asking, well... How'd it go? One girl said, wow, it was really kind of boring. I mean, when I get supper, I actually had to talk to my family, which made me kind of chuckle. <laughs> Not that my family was one for conversation. Usually Dad started something by saying something to my mom that perturbed her, and she started yelling, and everyone started yelling, and that's kind of how our dinners went. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone commented again. I've had comments in the past like, uh, yeah, I have trouble sleeping too. And I, I, I have insomnia and I can't go to sleep and things like that. Well, they think that people that are, that are plugged into their computers, and devices, or phones, which most of the people that I know through Facebook do it through their smartphone. They don't sit at a computer. They have a smartphone that they have with them at all times. I, I don't know. But they say that they've found that most people that are plugged into their devices for these long hours are more ir irritable and more depressed and they can't sleep. And I know for a fact that electronic devices put out a positive charge. The electric electricity puts out positive charges. 
because if you're cleaning in your house and you go over to the stereo and TV and where all the electronics are, it's dustier. It's always dustier there. And you're like, I just dusted this. That's why. It's like like a magnet. It's like one like a gathering charge. I have a, a room cleaner in my room that is not only an air cleaner, but it has an ionizer on it. It puts out negative little negative charges that kind of counteract the positive charges and it does help to go to sleep. So I'm starting to use that more. And I think basically the only thing that it's going I'm going to have to suck it up and just do it if I want to get on a regular sleep schedule is to say to myself a certain time of the evening that's it all electronics off. No television, no computer, nothing. That's it. And I will not even have anything to turn them on within my arm's grasp. Yeah, it might be boring. But then, when you get little children and you're teaching them how to sleep on a schedule, which isn't easy sometimes. Sometimes it's hard. With my sons, I taught them the yoga position called the sponge, which you're lying on your back, with your arms down at your side, palms facing up. And it's a position where you, little by little, from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, you tighten each section. Tighten and hold, 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 and relax. All the way down, just as if you had this wet cloth and you were wringing it out all the way down the cloth. And then by the time you're done at the end, your body is in beginning of pass out mode. <laughs> what do you want, kitty? You are sleeping. Yeah. Ask a cat. Cats know how to sleep, don't you, little winky? I think that's probably the way to to approach it, but they have noticed in their little studies that this type of thing is happening. And I've talked for over seven minutes just on this section, so I'm going to have to wind it up. Tomorrow's Tuesday. It's supposed to be in the upper temperatures this week until the weekend. Will I get anything done? I don't know. I haven't been feeling the very best, so I've been lying around trying to feel better. I don't go out in public because right now uh, on the news they said the hospitals have record numbers of people with the flu coming in. So I thought, mm, if I can stay away from it, I will. Which means doing stuff around the house. But still I have to take care of myself. I have plenty of water. And I had some orange juice today. Yep, yeah, Wednesday will be whoop whoop Wednesday. I will have a joke for you. But until then, upwards and onwards. <laughs>